If there is no victim, there is no crime. Therefore, possession itself is never a crime. If you falsely arrest someone who has committed no crime, then you are the criminal. In the drug war, those who have chosen the side of government instead of the side of the people are the criminal aggressors standing on the wrong side of history, and they will be judged for the evil that they have wrought on this earth. And today is Thursday, January 18, 2018, and you are listening to Adam vs. the Man, coming to you from cell D27 at the Wise County Jail in Decatur, Texas, behind drug war enemy lines. For three days, I have been denied my basic human rights as a prisoner under the United States and international law. I have not been provided any paperwork about my case or my charges, despite repeated requests, and I have not been allowed to meet with my attorney. My bail has been set at $80,000, which is to say that an innocent man has been kidnapped by government and is being held for ransom. The Wise County bond system is a shakedown racket that needs to go. They say that I can be released if I pay $6,000, which I would never see again. They are doing this and harassing innocent Americans every day in the war on drug users because they want us to be afraid. Well, in the Marines, they forgot to teach us to be afraid. They taught us to not negotiate with terrorists and certainly not acquiesce to their demands without a fight. Well, today, I would rather fight than buy my freedom. Thanks to our supporters on Steemit, we have raised more than enough money to pay off the terrorists, but I have instructed my staff to donate that money to the Libertarian Party instead. If you're not already, please become a member of the LP by going to lp.org. I'm also excited to announce two important nominations for the party. But first, the reasons. I am running for the Libertarian Party nomination for president in 2020 in order to dissolve the entire federal government in a peaceful, orderly manner. My opposition is pro-pedophile Bill Weld, who is launching his campaign unofficially this weekend with a documentary produced by a convicted pedophile. As if it wasn't bad enough that he is also a Hillary Clinton supporter, you would think that being a big government Massachusetts Republican would disqualify him from representing libertarians. But he is doing this with the support of two other pedophilia protectors in the party, Chair Nick Sarwark and Vice Chair Arvin Orha. Sarwark has already defended Tara Schultz, who was hired recently as a candidate recruiter, despite the fact that she has publicly defamed LP candidates, including myself, without apology or retraction. In 2018, it's time to clear house at the top of the LP. If we are to be the party of principle, we must rid ourselves of liars like Kara Schultz. We must universally condemn and reject candidates like pro-pedophile Bill Weld. We must make it clear that someone like Vice Chair Arvind Borja does not represent us when he publicly supports pedophilia. We must not let a pedophile sympathizer, protector of liars, or even someone who is not willing to stand up to the establishment like Nick Sarwark lead our party to ruin. We must not allow ourselves to be vulnerable to infiltration from political enemies or COINTELPRO type government agents. So I'm happy today to announce my nomination of two of my longtime friends and longtime friends of the party and freedom itself, Aaron Adams of Oklahoma for LNC chair and Carla Howell of Massachusetts for vice chair. I hope they will accept and join me in ensuring that the LP can be all that it can be. We must hang together or surely we will all hang separately. They have subjected me to this recent injustice because they want us to be afraid. They want us to cower and they want us to feel small and weak. But the freedom movement gets bigger and stronger every single day despite the fact that I was set up for a false arrest on the day that I announced my candidacy. There has been a shameful mainstream media blackout of this incident, but I'm sure they will be happy to cover pro-pedophile Bill Well and his pedophile coming out documentary because that's what they want America to think represents libertarians. We will still have to work extra hard to get our message out and demand that the mainstream media portray us fairly with equal time with the old parties, 
and to portray us honestly as champions of a message of universal human rights, ethics, peace, and love. Maybe they never will, because they know that if the American people knew they had a choice, that they can vote for freedom, that they can vote for nobody to be president and finally free America, they will. Time's up. The game is almost over. The Libertarian Party represents the American people far better than the Democrats or Republicans. There are more Americans who believe in freedom than the drug war. There are more Americans who believe in freedom than the terror war. There are more Americans who believe in freedom than government. And that is why in America, freedom will win. Thank you for listening. And please go to thefreedomline.com.